Yes, I'd like to place an order for pickup, please. All right, could I get three scallion pancakes? And could I get three scallion pancakes? Yeah, and can I get those not cut up, please? Very important. No cut. That's it. How long? Andy. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, the guys were out yesterday fishing salt of the vineyard. They brought us back some beautiful bluefin tuna here. Um, we're at the on the water office today. I'm gonna make some lunch for the guys and I'm preparing my all time favorite way to eat raw bluefin tuna, which is a sashimi pizza. And I know what you're thinking, tuna pizza, that sounds horrible, but hear me out on this one. Uh, instead of a regular pizza crust, we are gonna use a scallion pancake that we got from the local Chinese food restaurant. We're gonna add on top of that some microgreens, a few different sauces, some beautiful fresh sashimi, and it is, like I said, one of my all-time favorite ways to eat raw tuna. Now, I used to, when I would make this, I would make my own homemade scallion pancakes. It's a lot of work, it makes a big mess, you get flour all over the kitchen. I've since gotten a little bit smarter, and now I just simply order them from the local Chinese food restaurant and I asked them not to cut the pancakes up, which always seems to confuse them, but they haven't failed me yet. So we just ran down there. We got all sorts of dipping sauces. We get some fortune cookies, and we have three scallion pancakes. Still warm, nice and crispy. All right, the first sauce we're gonna put on this is a wasabi mayo. This is nothing more than about a teaspoon of wasabi powder, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a half a cup of mayonnaise. We put this into a little Ziploc bag. We're just gonna snip off the tip. I'm gonna decorate these up real nice. Now we're just gonna dress these up with some microgreens. Just wanna put down a thin layer first on each crust. Now we're gonna layer on some bluefin sashimi that has been cut wafer thin. Now we're just gonna hit these with another real thin layer of greens. All right, our second sauce is a spicy mayonnaise. This is nothing more than about a tablespoon of sriracha, um, a little bit of toasted sesame oil, and some lemon juice. Once again, we've put it in a little Ziploc bag. And we're just gonna drizzle that on there real nice. And our last sauce we're gonna put on here is eel sauce. And I know that sounds weird as well, but I promise you there was no eels hurt in the making of this sauce. Eel sauce is a sweet and sticky concoction that is essentially mirin, which is a sweet wine, soy sauce, and sugar.
And that little bit of sweetness really kind of puts this over the top. And last but not least, I'm going to decorate these with some edible flowers. We have some marigolds, we have some squash blossoms, and we have some nasturtiums. These are really just going to give it a nice little pop of color. So there you have it, sashimi pizza, one of my favorites. Um, really, really good, real simple. If you order out and get the, the crust made for you by the local Chinese restaurant, it just takes a few minutes to put these together. And one of my all time favorite ways to enjoy eating fresh raw tuna. All right, boys, come and get them. How is it? Good? Extra crispy crust. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, boys. Wow, that looks juicy. No, I Do you have a cold one? Oh, boy. Got a cold one. Here we go. Pull them straight out of the block. Uh, it's swooping in. I feel I don't feel too guilty about swooping in since we at least caught the two. Yeah, you got to yeah, sleep in and get out of bed early. <laughs> Had fresh tuna delivered to me. I don't know that. A lot of times I just come and eat it or have nothing to do with it. Wow. That's unbelievable. Good I think this might be my turn. Oh no, wait. You made me throw mine back. Jimmy kept his. Throw them all. Mine was beautiful. Mine was beautiful too. It's still out there swimming. We'll catch you next year. It'll be bigger. We'll provide more meat for more pizzas. I think the shark that was below the boat might have gotten that guy. Yeah. No, actually, my guy swam off pretty well. Difference between the editorial staff and admin. Admin has ginger ale. Editorial staff has beer. I like to go Hemingway, but only three quarters Hemingway. The 16 inches. <laughs> <laughs> Not full Hemingway. Never go full Hemingway. Never go full Hemingway.